This is Twit. Hi, I'm Radford Castro, and this is the review of the Asus Transformer Book Trio, also known as the TX201LA. Asus touts this thing as a laptop, a tablet, a desktop PC, whatever you want it to be. Here's Windows, and as soon as I undock it, bam, it's Android. Check that out. But what is the experience like with a 3-in-1 laptop hybrid? Some may see this thing as an ingenious contraption or an annoying chameleon. When you look at the box, it's easy to think this is a Windows machine. Ironically, the Intel Inside logo and the Windows Start screen tease buyers into thinking it's only a full Windows machine with a detachable tablet. Once the tablet is undocked, bam, it's Android. Why? Well, Windows sits in a hard drive that's inside the keyboard trackpad of the machine, while Android sits in the drive space in the tablet hardware. The tablet has its own specs, while the keyboard dock has another. In concept, it sounds like a win-win situation. Android provides you a gateway of consumer apps, while Windows provides you a chance to do some work with Office and play with a ton of legacy apps. The keyboard also works well with Android, and it even uses the Windows key to head home and even touchpad gestures to navigate through the screens. When the keyboard and tablet are paired, you feel that other companies should follow. It seems like a no-brainer. That is, until you discover some weird things. For instance, you can't use the rear camera when it's docked. It just doesn't work. It's only meant for the tablet. The storage cannot be accessed between the two operating systems, except for a couple of things like SD card, which ironically, you'll have to plug into the other when doing so. The primary operating system is Android, with Windows becoming secondary. The reason being is that Android can be used as a tablet and a laptop, but with Windows, you can only use it as a laptop. Choosing Wi-Fi settings still has to be done with both operating systems. Hard drive is still not an SSD, so performance suffers a lot, especially when you're running Windows 8.1. Switching between the two operating systems is a seamless affair. That is, until one of the units loses power, which appears to be the case for both the tablet and the keyboard hybrid. Now, neither OS peers into the battery life of the other. Making it much more worse is the fact that the battery life does not appear to be one of its strengths for both the tablet and as a hybrid laptop. The big positive, though, is that, of course, you get two operating systems, and one of them is a full Windows experience on one side. The second thing is that it does have a PC station mode, allowing you to connect to the machine to a monitor. But, of course, this works best only on Windows. If you're a Windows person, this is a don't buy. And if you are an Android person, you may feel like this is a try, but the price forces you to be mostly a don't buy. And at $14.99, this is pretty pricey if you're looking for just Android. And for Windows and Android together, it just seems confusing to use together as you get deep into it. The pros is, it has a clean design, has a nice quality, switching the between the operating systems is seamless. The docking is easy, and there is definitely strong performance on both the tablet and the laptop. The cons thing is that at 3.7 pounds, it's heavy, especially as a hybrid. Thing too is that it has average battery life. And at 90% battery life, you're looking at two to three hours, unfortunately. And that's all thanks to the hard drive. And the thing too is that it's expensive. At 14.99, it's just way too much for both operating systems. If you're looking for something that's purely Windows or Android, this is probably going to be a bad experiment for you. Instead, you should look elsewhere for something that's more purely of each of those operating systems. And again, I'm Radford Castro for Before You Buy.